Hi there, welcome back to the English class. If you remember, in the previous video, we did this reading, The Brave Potter. Remember the irony in the name? The potter who was anything but brave. Yeah? So today, let's look into some new words and question answers. Yes, glossary. The first new word, blinding light, we came across. What does that mean? Something that's so bright that it has blocked your view. You can't see. Very bright. Thatched, that means dry grass roof, covered with dried straw. Nod off. Now here, pay a little attention. This is a phrasal verb. That means an action that is denoted by more than one word. Here it is, nod off, means to fall asleep. Some more phrasal words would be, turn down the volume, turn down comes together, or cheer up, that's another phrasal verb, yes? Next, palm wine. Remember the toddy or the kallu that the farmer had drunk that day. Toddy. Fermented palm juice drunk by village folk. Muttered, speaking in a low voice that's not clear. Spoke something that cannot be heard. Usually we mutter when we are a little upset or angry. Your Majesty, what is this? A way of addressing a king or a queen with respect. Saddle, a leather seat placed on a horse which helps a person settle and sit on the horse. Stirrups, metal rings that hang down on each side of the horse and they are used to support the rider's foot or to place the foot and climb onto the horse. Pawing, the action of moving their paws for animals. Touching something repeatedly with a paw. Remember the horse was getting a little impatient and it started pawing? Hooves. The hard part of the feet of some animals like horses or cows, buffaloes. Hoof is singular, hooves is plural. Crashing, falling to the ground all of a sudden. Reins, the long leather bands held by the horse rider to control the horse. Sentry, a guard or a soldier whose job is to guard usually the gates of the camp. Uprooted, this is an action, action of pulling out a tree from the soil along with the roots. Cheering crowds, a large gathering of people in a positive way, shouting in joy. Usually you have cheering crowds when the cricket team comes back home after winning the title, yes? Now let's go into comprehension. Author of the story is testing you. Have you understood this lesson? Have you understood the story or no? So let's take up this challenge and show him. Yes, we have. Question one What did the tiger think the mysterious creature was? Remember, he was hiding in a hut and he heard the lady complaining about the leak. Why did he allow himself be bound around the neck with a thick rope? So let's see. The tiger thought the leak that the woman is referring to was a mysterious and dangerous creature. He was terrified of it and was fearing for its own life. He thought if I do not give in to the leak and do what it says, it might harm me. Hence, when the potter was tying a rope around its neck, the tiger did not resist because it was assuming that the potter was a terrible leak. So that's the reason. Question 2. What made the potter angry? Why was he kicking and abusing the tiger thinking it's his donkey? Because the potter was angrily looking for his missing donkey. He was upset that he had to go through so much trouble just to find his donkey. Remember all this was under influence of the toddy drink that he had? So he was pretty upset about everything that I have to go out on a rainy night through the forest looking for my missing donkey. 
The potter was under the influence of the drink he had and he brought home a ferocious tiger, mistaking it to be his missing donkey. So that made the potter angry. Question 3. Why did the king make the potter the general of the army? First, let's understand in what kind of a situation was the king in. Then we can explain why he took the potter. The king realized that his army was not enough to defeat the enemy. He needed a hero to lead his army and save his country from defeat. So that was a terrible situation he was in. Now, he had heard the famous stories of the brave potter. So what else would he think but to bring him over? So when news about the brave potter spread, the king immediately sent for him to be the general of the army. So now, have you observed words like king and general have a capital letter even though they're common nouns? That's because we're giving them respect when we speak about them. Question 4. Why do you think the sentry feels that the potter is a giant? The sentry standing at the gates of the camp looks in the direction of someone galloping towards the enemy camp. And what is the scene he sees? Someone on a shiny brown horse with a tree in his hand. Now, from far off, he couldn't make out that is it a young tree or a huge tree? Why did he assume that the potter was a giant? That's because of the stories they had already heard about the potter and his bravery. So that has already influenced their mind and they were expecting a very strong person to come. So just see, the news of the potter's bravery had traveled far and wide. It spread across kingdoms, even the enemies. They also heard that the same potter was now the general of the king's army. So now they're already having a preconceived opinion that that great potter who caught a tiger barehanded is now the general of the army. Oh my God, it's going to be difficult. They've already told that to themselves. So when the sentry saw the potter galloping towards the enemy's camp fearlessly, he mistook the young tree in his hand to be a huge one. And then he thought, how large or huge should a man be to be able to hold a huge tree in one hand? This gave him the impression the potter must be a giant. Next question, question 5. Do you think the potter is really brave or lucky? Give your reasons. Now, tell me, was he a brave man in himself? No. Each time he did something silly, initially it was under the influence of alcohol and the next time when he was the general of the army, and he went galloping on the horse, it just happened because the horse was not under control. In both these instances, do you think he was brave? No, he just got lucky. The potter is anything but brave. He just got lucky time and again. Right from when he sat on the tiger and brought it home to when he raced into the enemy's camp, it was purely luck. It all happened by chance and was not an intentional display of bravery. So that are your reasons why you think the potter was not really brave, he was just lucky. Question 6. What is the most humorous and thrilling incident in the story? Now, you can pick up any incident of the story that you find the most humorous. This is my version. You just think about the whole story and just see which other scene do you feel more funnier than this. Yeah, it's up to you. But let's go through what I have here. Write the incident and say why it is humorous and thrilling. What I felt was, according to me, the most humorous and thrilling incident in the story is when the potter commandingly sat on the tiger thinking it's his donkey. And why did I choose this, this scene? The way he drove it back home, tied it to a tree, all of this under the influence of alcohol, that's what made it really humorous for me. 
The thrilling part was that it was such a dangerous and ferocious animal that he was dealing with such utter disregard. That means giving not much importance to it. What if the tiger had attacked and killed him? So this was my version. You think of it and you can write your own part of the story that you find more funny. So that's it for now. I'll see you again in the next class. See you.